Hi, it's Ian again. Today we're going to focus on some weight training and I brought in my conditioning coach and our resident Muay Thai specialist, Jason DeCruzka. Jay, take it away, my friend. All right. So, we've got a good exercise program here for Ian and present some unique challenges um, working around the wheelchair. But we've managed to come up with a really good strength and conditioning routine that's dramatically changed Ian's strength, flexibility, and the functionality of his muscles. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we usually start off with stretching out his left side. This is the side that we pay particular attention to. Good. We'll bring it back. Now we've done some stretching prior to this. So Ian's going to show off a little bit here about how, how flexible he is. Good. Come back. Alright. Now the first exercise that we generally start with is going to be a bicep curl. And what we're looking to do is we're looking to work the primary function here is on the muscle. And Ian's wearing a long sleeve shirt here, so you can't see his vein. He's got a big vein going right down the middle of that arm. Good, come on up. Good, right back down. Good, nice and strong. Good. We do one weight at a time. It focuses on that particular side rather than working both sides. This way here we can really function. We can think about the only thing that we're doing here is just one side. We stay focused on training that one particular area. Good. Now, Jason and I, we don't use a lot of weight because that causes the muscle to bite itself, basically. So, we're just using basic five, so I'm not one of those guys that are going to see in your seat. He bends the bars. Oh, I'm kidding. So we're going to go up here now, we're going to work some shoulder exercises. Good. Excellent. And weight training is really important because it's going to build muscle density, it's going to build uh, bone density, it's going to make it so that... Excellent, Ian. Good. So we're going to come on the other side now. Gotcha. There we go. Right up. Good. Now, even first starting, you can only do threes. And we're using fives now, which is about almost a 50% increase. You're doing really good. Get yep. up. Good. Excellent. Now, we do this as my favorite exercise, but it's not Ian's favorite exercise. We're going to do the sides now. We're going to come right up the middle. Right? Hold them up the middle. Come right up the middle. There you go. Right up the middle here. Yeah, we're going to hold it there. There we go. Good. Ian's gotten really good at this. I'm going to drop it down now. And we're going to bring it back up. There you go. You hold it there, right? You got this, right? Yeah. All right. You hold it. Good. Real good. Now that exercise works his back and it works his stomach. So we've got some unique challenges here in that Ian likes to fire his stomach muscles or his back muscles instead of his stomach muscles. So, that being said, we need to focus primarily, if I can give you hands, please. We need to focus on strengthening Ian's core so that the muscles that he wants to use are the correct muscles rather than using your back when you should be using your back muscles, right? Right. So for this, we use what I call the UPS band. It looks like a giant packing band, but it's really a resistance band. And uh, Jason is very familiar with these. He's worked with these a lot. Uh, and we use it to do crunches. Now, because of my back, if I were to do a normal crunch and lie down on the floor, my back would fly instead of my abs. But because I have my back up against the seat, it feels like it can relax. So I'm using basically all my lower abs. Good. Excellent. Good job, Ian. Do you want to do any other exercises? Uh, I mean, just the flies. That's about the only okay. thing that we do. Chest flies are important for a disabled individual because it allows you to strengthen here to transfer yourself. Good. Slow it up. Bring it up. Good. Bring it up. Good. Bring it up. Good. One more. Excellent. Good job. And it's truly inspirational. Comes in here and works really hard. It's made a big, big difference. We've noticed a huge change in your flexibility, in your strength, right? Right. And 
doctor is very happy with the progress. Uh, I can attest to the last appointment I had, I put on body weight. Uh, my osteoporosis, which was a concern, spinally is going up to 16%. Um, so now what we're trying to do is not only maintain the gains that we've made, but improve. That's the point of roll with punches. That's the point of today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all come in and try it out.